everybody. It's been quite a while since I've done an update. Hope you guys are doing good. I know it's been a while. And uh, we got a lot to talk about. I'm glad that you guys are back, checking it out, checking out the videos. I did actually miss doing the videos. I was cranking out videos every single week for several years. Um, but, you know, took a little break for that. Pretty much took like a whole year, more than a year off since I've done anything. Uh, it's not that I haven't been reefing. I've been reefing. I just haven't been producing videos, kind of been kicking back and laying low. I do want to say thank you and a shout out to everybody who is chiming in, asking me how everything's going, seeing how the tank is. Uh, appreciate that. I know I went New York Stilo on you guys. Uh, those of you from back in the day, uh, he used to punch out some good videos and then he just stopped doing it all together. I know I kind of went New York Stilo on you guys for a little bit, but I'll be back. I don't, can't promise you that I'll be punching out videos every single week, but I'll definitely be uh, doing more videos. These are some hot frags that I had picked up a while ago. I picked these up all on eBay. Did a video on those, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this footage to kind of recap and talk about what you know has been going on. One of the things I have most of these frags, some of them have changed colors, but for the most part, I have them all. The tank is a lot different, so we have plenty of video content to talk about later on. But um, and I'm still into the zoas, zoanthids. Uh, that's the name of this coral. Uh, different kind, all the different colors have different names, but uh, this species is zoanthids and one of my favorites. You know I'm a Zoa collector. I still have uh, quite a few different species. I probably have more than I should. But I wanted to show you uh, back in the day, I still had these vermentin snails, a pain in the butt. Pretty much they're in tubes. They send out their little feeders and they aggravate corals. A little bit of better shot of some of the Zoas that I picked up. Um, I've added more since then. Like I said, just because I didn't punch out the videos daily or not necessarily daily but weekly um, I did start purchasing corals uh, just recently again um, one of the reasons also that I kind of stopped doing my videos is because I was in the process of moving and the builder that I went with was saying that my house was going to be a lot be ready a lot sooner than what they said and uh, it actually went way over uh, uh, the time frame like they had said it was going to be done in July and I actually didn't move in until October so I had all my stuff most of my stuff in storage um, that included like salt things like that I wasn't doing water changes for a while um, it was just a big mess I had also stopped dosing my tank I had all my chemicals that I picked up from bulk reef supply um, in storage I had, you know, all my reef crystal salt buckets of it in storage. And I was just like, you know what? I think my tank can hold out for a little bit longer. But I ended up doing more water changes uh, later on because, uh, you know, my tank really needed it. It was starting to turn, you know, you got to maintenance every now and then. Um, but, hey, all that's behind me now. I moved into the new house. I'll show you. I'll be giving you updates on that show you the tank I still kept the same tank um, I kept my SCA 150 you know I had some complaints about it I had complaints about the stand but overall it's been a, a pretty good little tank um, what you've seen right here is my 25 gallon lagoon I actually gave that away to a buddy uh, reefing chef on Instagram uh, Javier and uh, I pretty much gave it away to him because I only charged him a hundred bucks. I gave him the stand, the lagoon, gave him an auto top off. I think I gave him the heater. Uh, I gave him almost everything except for the Radeon XR15s that I had on here. Um, those little things floating in the tank are nudibranchs. Uh, those things are awesome at eating Aptasia. I really don't have an Aptasia problem anymore in my tank. Um, Aptasia is just like a little pest and enemy that stings the heck out of your corals and they multiply quickly um, but this tank was a lot of fun um, I am in my new spot I have more projects coming on 
and I kind of wish I kept this tank because I didn't move like when I thought I was gonna move so I pretty much got rid of everything thinking that I was gonna move move pretty uh, soon but it's all good I really like this tank um, you know what I had liked it for a while but then I saw Drew Lagoon uh, he had an innovative marine 25 gallon and he had that thing hooked up he kind of did uh, disappearance act as well hasn't been posting any videos or anything from what I've seen and it's all good that's just what happens he probably still reefing and everything but this tank it is a cool tank if you want to get into it get into salt water um, I really liked it as a frag tank though because I had so many frags and my main display is the 150 and I like to use that as a uh, just a display but you know I need a frag tank is pretty much what I'm saying so let's take a look at the 150 this is why I needed the frag tank because I had like digi all over the place um, I had corals all over the place and with the frag tank you can kind of organize it um, all your grow out corals you can put them there and you can kind of see these uh, aptasias uh, that I had you know I still have like one or two in the 150 but when I had those little worm middlebrank bergias, uh, those things destroy the aptasia and you know those things are highly recommended by me also when I moved I had ended up purchasing quite a bit of SPS I started loading up on it um, I was attaching it onto the back overflow of my tank I was using some stuff called the uh, Aqua Max uh, reef welder and I picked it up from Marine Depot that stuff were great um, I was just messing around with it would make it into a putty and then super glue it onto the plastic overflows and the corals would take off doing really good this uh, coral right here I picked up from my buddy Matt who helped me in the move and we'll do uh, some more videos of that later on um, but I picked up quite a bit of corals from him and then I ordered a bunch more from my buddy uh, Corey who is known as Mr. Budman Corals. He sells all these nice uh, high-end SPS and I dropped a grip uh, during that time which was really retarded because of the fact that I was gonna move and you know SPS like a stable tank so these corals right here I'm not even gonna tell you how much they cost me uh, just figure that you know look at your at your hands and count how many fingers and you can go from there but these corals right here man uh, I would probably try to get some more later on now that my tank is getting more um, stable I would say and uh, get some more SPS in there uh, the Zoas I'm a Zoa collector you know but the SPS are pretty nice I like to try my skill and uh, you know I, I did lose quite a bit of corals but you guys you guys will see all that stuff in the other updates that I, I do with you guys but hey it's part of the game uh, I was trying to get my buddy uh, Paul back into reefing but he just doesn't want to drop that money and it is kind of you know you're dropping a lot of money into reefing but you know then again I told him you know what you could be spending that money on other dumb stuff and we're not gonna go into that like drinking or whatever you're into going out to eat all the time you know you're dropping lots of money on that too so you kind of gotta budget yourself but this hobby can definitely uh, cost you a lot of money from equipment to pumps and everything like that so something else that I'd like to talk to you guys about want to tell you all thank you for using my codes um, we did uh, buy a lot quite a bit of equipment you guys did drop some money on there and I thank you all for using those codes but please don't use those codes anymore if you want to use it for somebody else go for it um, I'm no longer in the program um, you know they hire and recruit everybody who's popping and I'm not popping anymore so it's all good but if you guys can go ahead and get in that program for yourselves, recommend it. It's pretty cool. Um, I, there were some plus and minuses about being in the program. The plus was that, you know, you're, I was like honored to be in it because I was like, you know what, these guys, you know, think I'm pretty good. 
but then the minus was you're making them all this money and you're really not getting too much out of it so whatever it is what it is i'm glad i did it but i'm a free agent again and uh that's the way i like it i'm gonna be talking about i have always gave honest reviews but i'm gonna do more so now part of the fun of youtube in video documentation and all that and connecting with you that's part of the fun but the other part of the fun is like man looking back at your tank looking at the corals that you used to have uh, my tank doesn't look like this anymore and some of these frags i can't find them so obviously they died but the growth on this tank was pretty sweet um, lots of things are different now in this tank um, but i'm gonna try to get it back up there it's kind of fun starting over going a different direction but Man, I gotta say, my tank uh, was doing pretty good at its prime. I was dosing. Um, I was using, you know, a two-part. I was dosing amino acids, you know, here and there. Um, I was really testing it, keeping up with it, and had good growth. Uh, now, you know, moving, lost a lot of pieces, uh, a lot of pieces, and um, and I gotta say, that part really does suck. All of us have been reef and have uh, gone through it one, one way or another, or we know people who have gone through it. So that part really does suck. Um, I had a lot of pieces here that I really like and dropped some money on. But I'm excited to show you guys how the tank is now, what direction I'm going in, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. I wanna know what you guys have been up to how you guys have been and hell if you guys want to send me some corals for free or something uh let me know too that would be pretty sweet send me your sps send me your zoas send me whatever you want except for xenia and uh i'll take it man gladly just kidding though but i gotta say though we're already 12 minutes into this video i hope you guys have been enjoying it it feels good doing videos again with you guys and hanging out just talking reef you know reef is kind of like a everything that everybody has in common it doesn't matter what you're into that's our common ground and it's fun uh, talking to you guys about stuff like this uh, I want to know in your comments ask your questions away and then we'll, we'll get back to you guys in a video or whatever a different kind of video um, some of the fish though I really haven't added any more fish I have my main guy the clownfish, I have the uh, purple tang, the scopus, and uh, the purple dotty back. That's about it. Um, for some reason, at late or another, the uh, yellow tanks have gone up in price. I was kind of thinking about adding one of those, um, but I don't think so anymore because of the price. I still have my blue tang, my hippo tang, whatever you want to call them. I want to get a lot more little fish, um, like gobies, another wrasse, uh, things like that into this tank. Um, the wrasse is really cool because they eat all the pests. The gobies are real cool because they're tiny and they have a personality. Uh, I still might uh, be getting into like the butterfly fish. I wasn't able to, copper, copper band butterfly fish. Um, wasn't able to do that. And maybe like a flame angel. Um, always like that fish. But we'll see. Um, got a lot of different plans, um, directions on what I want to do. Tank does look different than what it does now, which I'm excited to show you guys later on. And uh, definitely going to be doing a lot of different other projects. I am going to ask for your guys' help. Uh, spread the word. Let everybody know about this channel. Uh, and we'll get uh, some more subscribers. We'll get into it. You know, honest reviews, coral unboxing, you know, ups and downs. I show the good and bad on my tank. Um, and I have a lot of bad to show you guys. And it's pretty good when the good happens. Remember, bad things happen quick and then the good things happen slow. It takes some time for it to happen. It's not overnight. And if you're just uh, cruising the YouTube and you're new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Uh, lots of videos here have a lot of... Uh, stuff to watch have been reefing for a while and uh, we got some good 
topics and a bunch of other dumb stuff that I've done. So consider reefing, consider watching my channel, and if you have any questions, hit me up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it out here. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a while. I've been a little rusty here making the videos again, but we're going to be coming out with a bunch of more videos. I just want to say thanks again. hope you guys are doing good. You guys hang in there, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, and take care.